A few seconds after the door opened, Nanny came marching into the room in that same slow and deliberate manner. Charlotte immediately jumped to her feet and backed away from the colouring book in a guilty way, she didn't want anyone or anything get the false impression that she was having a good time. Lunch time. The nanny announced as it walked straight over to the high chair in the corner of the room and pulled it out into the centre. Charlotte didn't respond. She stayed on the spot and eyed the robot with intense suspicion. Her bladder let out another warning that she should find a toilet soon but that was the least of her concerns as the nanny turned to look at her in expectation with the tray to the high chair up. Lunchtime. Nanny repeated as she stared her unblinking eyes at Charlotte. Charlotte didn't want to walk towards the nanny in the high chair, she didn't want to seem like she was going along with this obscene plan and yet she was very hungry and thirsty. She hadn't had anything to eat or drink for a long time. She knew that she would be forced into the high chair to be fed one way or another, she had seen that this place had ways of forcing you to do whatever they wanted with you. The question was simply whether Charlotte made it easy for them or not. I can feed myself. Charlotte said defiantly, I don't need you or the high chair. Bring me food and I will eat. Don't be silly. Nanny responded immediately. Charlotte felt her eye twitch as she tried to swallow her anger. Suddenly a new idea came to the young journalist. Arg. Charlotte let out a war cry and charged forwards. To hell with letting this all happen, it was time to fight her way out. Charlotte would take down and destroy this nanny and any other nanny they might have. She would destroy everything until this sickening company were forced to send a real human being in. She was a human, not a product to be sold or traded and not a toy to be played with by the rich and powerful. Charlotte closed her eyes as she drew close to Nanny and prepared for the impact which would surely send them both against the wall in the background. She ran as hard and fast as she could and leapt at the last moment. Charlotte braced herself for impact. Charlotte felt herself collide with the metal humanoid in front of her. She had hit Nanny directly in the stomach area. However her plan had almost immediately failed. The nanny barely moved an inch, in fact all that really happened was that nanny suddenly had Charlotte in her grasp. Get off! Charlotte yelled as the nanny easily picked the squirming woman up and dropped her in the high chair. Charlotte felt tears of frustration come to her eyes as she was held down and her wrists and ankles were strapped down to the chair. With a sigh of despair, Charlotte sobbed and felt her bladder empty into the diaper. The warm urine splashed against the padding and spread quickly as she was tied down with nowhere to go. Charlotte didn't want it to be obvious what she was doing but it was hard to wet your diaper without it seeming like a big deal. Whether Nanny knew what Charlotte was doing or not was debatable as it left the nursery briefly and returned with a bowl of food and a baby's bottle. By the time Nanny had returned, Charlotte had finished wetting herself and she could feel the wet heat of her urine creeping around the front and back of the padding as it soaked in all of her pee. Charlotte felt utterly defeated as Nanny placed the meal, if it could be called that, onto the table. The bowl was full of mushy baby food and looked totally unappetizing whilst the bottle was full of milk. Charlotte let out a deep and shuddering breath as Nanny dipped the small plastic spoon into the bowl. Open up for the airplane. Nanny said in that same expressionless voice. Clearly whoever built these machines hadn't mastered emotion. Charlotte knew that if she resisted she would just be forced to feed in a more humiliating way. With all of her limbs strapped down and knowing that this machine would make her eat one way or another she opened her mouth slowly. The spoon was upturned in Charlotte's mouth as soon as she opened it and she winced as the bitter taste of the mushy food covered her tongue. With some difficulty she swallowed the food down and as soon as she had done so she felt it replaced by another spoonful of food. The meal was like a production line as Charlotte was given no respite from the awful tasting baby food. She had no idea what the food was supposed to taste like but whatever it was, it was failing. The closest thing that resembled the taste of this food would have been cardboard. By the time the feeding was over Charlotte felt like her whole mouth was coated with a layer of the mushy food. She could taste little else except for her horrible lunch. When Nanny lifted up the bottle of milk, 
Charlotte eagerly took the latex teat of the bottle in her mouth and began sucking the cold milk into her mouth. She visibly relaxed as she nursed on the baby vessel and the feeling of the baby food being washed away was divine. Charlotte was surprised when she rather suddenly found herself sucking air from the bottle, she had drained the whole bottle very quickly. Almost as soon as the bottle was emptied it was pulled away from Charlotte's mouth. She felt a little bloated as the food went down, she was red in the face but her anger had temporarily abated. Of course, her desire to escape hadn't abated but having a full belly seemed to calm her a little.